on the autumn hall Good at making something to do out of nothing at all We chase white tail bucks, catch a few channel cats Lord knows it don't get no better than that That's just a day in the life on the autumn hall, yeah Hey, welcome back to the Autumn Hall River Sportsman. I guess if there was, they said cricket, you could only hunt one type of animal, one type of bird, which I really love to shoot the birds, it'd be dove. And that's what today's all about, man. We got an opportunity to go at Austin Boat Ride in Bristol, Georgia. And we got to go shoot an early morning shoot. It was cool, it was nice. And I want you to check this out, man. We had some birds in there and we got to shoot and we got some film. It's kind of quick pace. So we hope you enjoy it. Caleb and Casey went and man, we had a blast. Pretty good shoot, huh? It was a great shoot. And we always use, you know, uh, early dove season hunt as a good warm up for our duck hunts later on in the season to get us prepared, get us warmed back up because you don't get to shoot that much in the summer. That's right. So we enjoyed it and it was a big time. Hope you enjoyed the show. Man, what you drinking this morning? What you think I'm drinking? It's all in my hall mud. How else you start a morning? And that's, a, that's exactly how you kick it off. A little coffee, a little all in my hall mud. Look, we've been invited over here to uh, Bristol, Georgia by Austin Boatwright. And he's got a little dove field here. They always have a great shoot. And he's invited us to come over and shoot some birds. So Austin's gonna run the, run the gun in front of Casey's camera and uh, Caleb's gonna run the gun in front of my camera. And so we hope to get you some footage on there. We'd like to thank Austin Hill for inviting us over. And y'all hang around here and watch this. We're fixing to burn some of these gray bullets that come through here and see if we can't put some dove on the ground. We got Tab on doing the retrieving and Miss Georgia is over there hunting for Austin. So y'all hang tight. Right here, Tila, right here, Tila. Holy crap. Who we got retrieving here for us? George. Fetch him up. First of many. in the tree. Kill him. Here. Hey. King shot on camera, baby. Right at you, right at you behind you, right at you behind you. Here. Right here, see him? shoot yeah i mean how many times can you go to the dove field and not shoot these birds but here's some a lot of birds flying and it turned out to be a good one so yeah they started flying early and it was 
every which way you started looking they were flying um, shots going everywhere yeah, we had a good hunt um, you know good field spread with everybody in it so it kept the birds working and it was just a bunch of ag and shooting all all day long and tadpole got some work he's a young dog but he's he started to figure it out a little bit so uh keep watching man it only gets better here to you left to you left Right at you. 
Right there in the tree. Killed another one. Oh shit. Back. Boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Pick that up for me. No. Get back, get back. Okay, right here. Good boy. Here. Here. Oh, yeah. One just went in there. Was that him? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, he won't get that one. Yeah. Yeah. Get that Dead. Dead. He walking on it. Dead. Atta boy. Atta boy. Good boy. Good boy, Tapo. Good boy, you learn. Old Tapo, he's a three-year-old dog, but he's still a puppy when it comes to hunting. He just now gets started. There he is. Dead bird, good boy. Well, he marks me, got him. He got to sit still, beast. Hey, right here at Austin, at Austin. Coming down the tree line, don't come this way. He's not gonna make it this far. He just landed over there in the bushes. This one right here to your right, right there. Okay. Good shot. Find three of them. Gotcha. gotcha. Boy, oh. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Kill this bird. I got it. Bye. Bye. Dead in there. Dead. Good boy. Back. Had a boy. Had a boy. Good boy. Good boy. Had a boy. He gonna learn. He just need to be over some birds. Need to learn how to drink water out of a jug. 
day. Good quick morning shoot, probably an hour and a half, two hours. Sun got up, made a few shots, missed a few shots. Caleb got his limit, I almost got my limit. I'd like to thank Austin Boatwright and all them guys. What you think, man? It's a fantastic little shoot. Yeah, a bunch of birds. Flight flew pretty good, you know, worked good. So it's just yeah. a great little shoot. Old Tadpole, he, he's starting to figure it out. He chose like a diesel right now because he's a little too hot little for him, but a little out of shape. But hey, it's look getting at good. It's still flying. It's getting good. They're still, still coming, coming in here. here. Uh, we'd like to thank all these guys right here, Austin Boatwright and all his buddies for inviting us over here in Pierce County and give us an opportunity to shoot some of these birds. As you can see, they did pretty well at it. And you're gonna see this thing right here on Autumn River Sportsman starting in October. So come check us out and follow me down to the river. All my Hall River sportsmen. Awesome, we appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, sir. the guys from Mossy Pond. Yes, sir. And while we're thinking about it, today we happen to play those shillelagh toting uh, Yankees that are coming out of Notre Dame, and we got one thing we want to say to them. What is it, fellas? Go Dogs! Well, man, that was a heck of a shoot. Um, and to be able to go out there and shoot when it's nice and cool and shoot with some friends, it's always awesome, and it's a pretty good day. We had a we got a little message in there for you. I hope you enjoyed that about the go dogs. And anyhow, it was a good day. Got to spend it with Casey and Caleb. Spend a little time with the puppies, and so it turned out well, huh? It was a great hunt, you know, especially for Austin to call us out and let us just come, just as a friendly invite. So we always appreciate those. Yep, we did, and it turned out good. And now we're going to uh, move on to the next part of this, and we're going to cook some of them for you. As you can tell by the program, it's fall of the season. And whenever you have the fall of the season, it's hunting season for us. And not only do we like to take game, we like to eat game. And I'm not your chef, I'm not your cook, but I do like to cook some wild game every now and then. And I'm gonna show you real quick how I like to do my dove. So what I'll do is I'll put whatever dove I'm gonna marinate, I'll put in my Tupperware, like you see here. And I've got about four or five things that I like to use. So whenever I marinate my dove, I like to marinate them in a couple of different items, about four or five items, and that's all I'll use. And I like to put them in there and cover them up and what I'll do is I'll take and put the kids in I'll put the kids in and I'll cover them up with my orange juice a little bit of my garlic mustard I love parsley not a lot of flavor but it sure is pretty and then some salt and pepper and I don't overdo either one of these because I, I you can add that afterwards so then I'll take my lid and cover it up and just shake it up. And then I like to take this little mixture and put it in the refrigerator for 48 hours. And then whenever that's done, which I have some over here that are done, whenever that is done, then I like to take them out and I'll pull them. And you don't really need this, but I like it because bacon goes good with everything, and I'll take it, and I'll wrap them up in my bacon. And just shove me a toothpick through there, wherever I can make it work, until I get it all done. And then I'll throw them on the grill. I went ahead and a lot of people that eat rice, gravy, whatever we're gonna take and i made some cheese grits and we're gonna uh, have some grilled dove so we're gonna go outside and put them dove on right now all right we already had, we already had them soaked for a couple days we're gonna come out here and put them on the grill i done got it preheated and it'll jump up pretty high but with this lid off it'll cool on down i did some with the bacon Probably ain't got real good light, do we? We're okay. Some with the bacon and some without. Look, if you ever get a chance to shoot wild game, shoot it. If you get a chance to eat it, 
eat it. If you shoot it, eat it, or share it. And a lot of people like wild game. A lot of people have never tried it, but once they try it, they really love it. So give them a chance. If it's part of yours, share the bounty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plate these for you. I'm gonna try to act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're gonna hit the grits a little bit. And if you can't put a spoon in them and stand them up, they probably ain't right. And these are just about right. So we got our cheese grits. Then we got our dove. We gonna spread them around this bad boy. I did wash my hands yesterday. All right, boys and girls. It don't get no better than that. South Georgia dove shoot. And that's what you get right there. I'm talking about some of the best eating you'll ever come across. Cheese grits, growing up in Darien, Georgia. North of Darien, actually. Boys up there really grow some good grits. Grow some corn, grind them up. Man, don't get no better than that. You got your dove, and we'll just have to thank Austin for that again. Here's to it. Thanks to the Lord for the opportunity to hunt. And thanks to the Lord for the opportunity to eat your bounty. Hope y'all enjoy it. Follow me down to the river. You think you know about that old Autumn Hall, Lance? Oh, we didn't tell them all we know, brother. <laughs>